Well, that's a, a great question where I write, um, because I'm working right now on a book called Writing with Pleasure, and I'm reading narratives of writing-related pleasure that I've collected from academic writers all over the world. And um, a lot of the pleasure is connected to the materiality of the experience and to place, space and place. When I write, I am often outside of the university. I'm, I tend to write in my house, in my, my cozy little room, and uh, I tend to um, do a balance of writing longhand and writing on the computer. Um, so probably the majority of the writing that I do typically would be in my kind of study at home, and it's a great writing space for me. And the fact that it's at home means it's usually because I've taken a working at home day. And so I try to use that day productively as a day where I focus on writing. I actually end up writing in my bed a lot. Um, so I'm sitting there with my laptop or on my sofa. Um, I find sitting at a desk quite uncomfortable. Uh, I'm quite happy to sort of do that for kind of quick things, but if I really want to be comfortable, I, I like my legs up and feet on the things. I have been told um, by psychologists that this is not good for, um, what do they call it, sleep hygiene. Um, uh, you're apparently not supposed to sort of do work in your bed, uh, but I particularly like this. Uh, particularly in the mornings, I will be in my pajamas um, and I will be uh, doing a whole lot of work uh, um, on my computer in my bed. I need to be somewhere very quiet. <laughs> I need to have very few distractions. I'm always amazed at students who watch movies and do schoolwork at the same time. I'm not, I don't understand it, but it, I see it everywhere, so clearly it's not isolated. Um, I can't do that. Home office, because I can just close the doors, um, so I can have like this convenient space, no interruption, no, vo no sound, no nothing, because when I write, I just want everything to be so silent, so quiet. I need to find a place where I can sit and not be distracted. So my writing doesn't happen very well in my office because there's always a student at my door. And it doesn't happen very well in my home because I always find other things that like, you know, vacuuming that are more important than doing my writing. So I tend to find a really nice cafe, a nice quiet spot and explain, and, and some of them know me now where I say, okay, I'm here for a few hours and they say, that's fine. And, and I'll sit there. So I have this hum of busyness that's happening, but nothing that's too distracting um, where I can kind of go into my own and, and just sit and be able to focus on, on what I'm doing. Being a, somebody who did my PhD slightly later in my career and now I'm in a postdoc role, um, I found the process of writing quite an isolating experience moving from grad school into a postdoc role. And I've kind of really tried to think about how do I craft a writing community where I'm physically based at, at my university. Uh, so I'm very fortunate to have flexibility in my schedule that I can choose the, the physical space where I write. I can write at home, I can write in my office, although less so because it's quite a busy place. I can write in the library. Um, but for me, it's less about where I write, but um, who I write with, actually. So establishing that writing community has kind of been foundational and kind of connects why I was interested in the collaborative writing groups too. Other things that I found really helpful are, are kind of writing retreats where we've organized with a group of other academics Two or even if it's just two or three days. So we have one coming up and the rule is everyone puts their phone in the basket and the basket goes away and there's no internet and you can sit wherever you like. We come together for meals and that's kind of a nine to five thing. And you know, the first bottle of wine is opened at five and, and that's how that works. And when you have that accountability with others, um, that for me makes the writing process better, knowing that there are people who I'm being accountable to. Um, the other thing that's productive are accountability partners, right? Um, so deadlines, um, reporting out, having some shared work um, around which I am responsible and others are responsible as well um, really helps me motivate 
the writing process. Um, and I find that that's helpful in mentoring writing with students too, to think about the fact that we are in partnership, not just in the work that we do, but in the ways that we represent that work. Uh, and so how can I be a productive accountability partner for them and how can they serve that same role for me so that we can highlight and bring forward the work?